we might not all have a Hermione in our lives. We might not all have a Dumbledore in our lives, but we do all have a Mrs. Fig in our lives. Go thank your Mrs. Fig. Everybody, my name is Corey Collins, Corey Collins, C-O-C-O, Coco, and this is Coco Reviews, and I'm very excited to start my first YouTube series, and it is called Secondary Wizards. So in Secondary Wizards, we are going to be talking about Harry Potter books through the lens of all of our secondary characters, which is a literary term, not a value judgment. English major, I'm very excited to go through each chapter of the book one by one and offer a short look through the books through someone else's perspective and maybe see what we learn from them. See what we learn by reading the books from another character's point of view and maybe even seeing our main characters through other characters' point of view. I think that might illuminate a lot about what we think about Harry, Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, Snape, etc. There will be spoilers. Why am I issuing a spoiler alert? You all have had... When did the last book come out? I was a teenager. You've had a while. This is a simple operation. My microphone is visible, which is supposed to make me seem relatable or like we're on the radio. I don't know. I'm going to look over there like there's a producer. There's not. No characters off limits. If they appear in the chapter, I might be talking about them and imagining that whole scene or that whole time through their eyes. Phileas Flitwick. The Crouches. The Bardies, as I like to say. Pansy Parkinson. Peter Pettigrew. Padma and Parvati Patel. Minerva McGonagall. I have a, I have a bit of a grubbly plank. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. That really helps me. Not just helps me become like a YouTuber, but it helps me know that there's an audience out there and that I'm not just talking to a wall. Yeah, when Horace Slughorn um, turned himself into a chair, that is the most I think I've ever connected with a fictional character. I like to imagine an alternate universe where Colin Creevy and the protagonist from the Pokemon Snap video game are the same person. Cormac McLaggen. Imagine Rita Skeeter with a Twitter account. Just imagine it. Chaos. She would have done so much more damage. The journey that Dudley Dursley takes is one of the most hopeful parts of this series. <sighs> What if Fenrir Greyback's real victims were the friends he made along the way? Victor Crumb was really important to me as a child because he had really thick eyebrows and people liked him. Representation. Why do we all have a crush on Oliver Wood? It keeps me up at night. Professor Sprout is high right now. Is she the only adult on that whole train? Who is supervising these children? You know, I was a fan of Argus Filch, but what? Well, no, I wasn't. That's a lie. <laughs> It's Voldemort, not Voldemort. That's a subtweet. Hashtag we are all peeves. And please leave comments about who your favorite characters are, who you would love to see me uh, read Harry Potter through. Join me on this reread. Critique what I'm doing. I'm very open to criticism. Um, I mean, I might cry. It depends on what the criticism is. I know there's like a thousand podcasts and videos about Harry Potter. Um, if you're like me, you can't get enough. And I'm hoping that this will be a fresh perspective and we might learn some new things by looking at the books through some of our favorite characters who don't always get the spotlight. Stepping into the shoes of other characters and thinking about how their motivations or their actions inform the story and inform our lives. Did that sound grandiose enough? There is no stock character. And there's no stock characters in life. There are no secondary characters in life. Everybody is the protagonist of their own story. And I think that's why we have to look at each character fully and see what they have to tell us. That was so accidentally beautiful. I was trying to make this video funny, but... It smells like childhood loneliness and projecting my problems onto fictional characters.